Just going a little bit into more detail about the study and, uh, you know, thinking about uh, where we are going next. So uh, in our study, we looked into are we characterized by multiomic uh, platforms like genomic, transcriptomic, epigenomic and proteomic. We characterized uh, this mixed histology tumors and we performed micro dissections and we performed these analysis. And this uh, effort of, was, of course, a team effort, and we learned several things from these different platforms. So from whole exome sequencing, we learned that almost universally, we see a loss of P53 and RB1 in the lung adenocarcinoma compo in the component that transformed. And this was uh, one of the most characteristic features that we saw. Oncogenic EGFR mutations were present in about 33% of these cases. And uh, we saw novel alterations in our cohort when we compared it to TCGA, like uh, KMT2B uh, and uh, TERT and uh, TRIP13 amplifications. And we also saw a recurrent loss of uh, 3P chromosome arm in the pre-transformation pre lung adenocarcinoma. We learned a lot more uh, from gene expression methylation analysis. Uh, we saw consistent upregulation of uh, neural differentiation, cell cycle progression, uh, DNA repair, chromatin remodeling, and also suppression of the notch signaling pathways. Several transcription factors that are important in this lineage uh, switch came up, like 1GUT2, PAU3F2, and FOXN4. And finally, we observed induction of genes in the PRC2 complex, the wind signaling pathway, and the AKT signaling pathway. So, and uh, the beauty is that these are all targetable pathways. So what we did next is we selected an EGFR mutant uh, PDX model of transformation. And we saw that when this model was treated with osimertinib in combination with an AKT inhibitor, samatolosib, we saw that we could cause significant benefit in the osimertinib treatment uh, in the, uh, in the anti-tumor response. So we think that AKT could be a therapeutic target in order to either slow down or reverse the process of transformation. And this was really interesting. So I think what we are where we're going next is we need more in-depth characterization in a larger cohort of samples to identify additional pathways and targets, and also to validate what we have found in a larger cohort of samples. But I think what would be really interesting is to take these drugs that we have found in our study, like AKT, uh, EZH2, and wind signaling pathway, and then either treat them in combination or alone uh, in these transformed cases and see if we can either reverse or slow down this process of transformation. I think that's where uh, the field is going.